everyone, welcome to the GRE How To Series where we make studying for the GRE a lot more tolerable. Now, this week's video is going to be interesting for one or more of the following three reasons. One, you're interested in business school and like the idea of a full ride scholarship. Two, you know someone who may be interested in business school and might like the idea of a full ride scholarship. And three, you like seeing me and hearing my voice. So if any of those apply to you, great. I'm so excited to share this really important information with you. And if you're not interested in business school and you just wanna to get to the GRE goodness, click up here for the latest playlist on the GRE How To series. Stay tuned. <laughs> Everyone. So I'm probably in the middle of you watching your next before I let you go challenge video. So I will make sure that this is packed with some information that you won't want to miss. And if you love getting this kind of information from me and want some more help on trying to achieve your big dreams, make sure you subscribe in this area because I am so excited to just make a small contribution to you following your dreams. Today, I want to introduce you to an amazing organization called the Consortium for Graduate Study and Management. I have the privilege of being a part of this organization that has helped me do amazing things in my business school journey. The consortium is all about increasing the representation of underrepresented minorities in business schools. And if you don't know what an underrepresented minority is, they are people of African-American descent, of the Latinx culture and Native Americans. I believe the stat is of the 10,000 people who graduate with an MBA, only 8% fall within those categories, which means, I mean, typically MBAs go on to have great jobs and go into leadership in business. And that means that if you're underrepresented in the business school ranks, it's likely that you're going to be underrepresented in the corporate ranks. So for over 50 years, the consortium has built an alliance of schools who are dedicated to increasing representation and really put their money where their mouth is by securing funds for scholarships. There are many ways to get a scholarship from a business school. Uh, admission into the consortium is one way. In addition, consortium has been building an alliance of corporations who really value diversity and really want to get access to the best and the brightest. So there are opportunities for members of the consortium to recruit early or have conversations with companies that they may be interested in working with. One of the common misconceptions about admissions into the consortium is that you have to be a part of an underrepresented minority category in order to be a member. That is not true. Actually, any US citizen can be a part of the consortium. And all you have to do is demonstrate that you have had a record of promoting the mission, which is increasing inclusion of underrepresented minorities in business and the workplace. If you have life experience supporting that, community experience supporting that, and work experience supporting that, I highly, highly recommend that you check it out because not only do you get access to early recruiting opportunities, perhaps some scholarship money, you also are included in an amazing family of people who are extremely supportive and, and me personally, they inspire me to this day. It's helped me build my personal network across many of the top business schools out there. And it's pretty amazing that I can call on someone who went to Darden or went to UCLA and have something in common with them through the consortium. As I alluded to before, there are a few great benefits to being a part of the consortium. And the last one, you're gonna be so happy that I told you about this. So make sure you hang in there so that you know uh, the amazing, amazing perk that you get right away from the consortium. The first thing I'll describe is the amazing recruitment opportunities. In June, there is what we call OP, which is orientation program, where you learn about the values of consortium, you get a chance to really meet some of your classmates for the first time, and there's an opportunity for early recruitment opportunities. Now that is, that sounds a little scary, but I mean, at the end of the day, you know, business school is partially about getting a job. So it's great to get a head start. There are so many companies who come to orientation program, uh, Pepsi, Google, Facebook. There are so many opportunities for you to 
build your network and get to know people, often consortium alum, who are there to support you in your journey to find your next opportunity for your internship and perhaps your next full-time job. So that in and of itself is amazing, right? Another benefit that some consortium members may get is access to a full or partial tuition scholarship. Now, this is an amazing opportunity for some people and it's like, uh, an amazing blessing, that's for sure. Something to note is that consortium doesn't get to decide if you get the scholarship. It's really the schools who decide that. So it's gonna be really important that you just build the best application you can and demonstrate your academic abilities and your commitment to the mission very, very clearly so that you can best increase your chances for something like that. I, I'll tell you, I have a lot of friends who didn't get the scholarship and got so many amazing benefits from membership. So honestly, the scholarship is only one piece of, of the great opportunity it is to be a part of the consortium. And lastly, and something like if you're in the business school application journey right now, this is going to be crucial for you because right off the bat, the consortium allows you to be able to apply to schools for a significantly reduced admissions fee, like significantly reduced. I'm, I applied to one school and it cost $195 for one application, like one application, that's insane. Like you take the GMAT or the GRE, that's 250 or 200 bucks down the drain. You're probably taking all those other stuff, there's money flying everywhere. And then you finally get together to like press send on your application. And then you have to shell out like $200 per school. Like I, I think I said this before in another video, like business school is basically for rich people. And um, there are, it's really important to kind of spread the word about these kinds of organizations that make it cheaper for you to get access to this kind of education and experience. So how cheap you might be asking me because I just got on a, a random rant. Well, you can apply to up to two schools for $150 and you can apply to up to six schools for $300. All the information is gonna be on their website. I will link it in the descriptions below so that you can get all of the prices, but it's just like, wait a second, I just told you, right? Like I've applied to one school for $200 and you're telling me that I can apply to two schools for $150? Like. What? I think I, I ended up applying to five schools in the consortium and that ended up being $275, which is insane and a wonderful, wonderful money saver in this very expensive journey. You may be wondering which schools are in the consortium. Well, the list is growing every day, but some of my favorites <laughs> include the University of Michigan, I mean, the best school is on there, so that's all you need to know, right? But if you're interested in some other options, there's the University of Virginia, Darden School of Business. Um, I, yeah, I, I, you know what? Sidebar, I, people like to think that we're brainwashed, but I mean, it's just an awesome school. Like you should go see it yourself. Anyway, UCLA, USC, you know, there are so many great schools in the consortium. So I highly encourage you to check out the website, see if any of your desired schools are in the consortium and hey, there you go. Saved you some money right then and there. The consortium offers a common application so that you can apply to all of these schools in one spot. You hear me, right? One spot, one website, <laughs> one website, and you can apply to up to six schools at a time on it. So it is an amazing time saver. It's amazing money saver, and it supports an amazing, amazing, amazing mission. So let's talk a little bit more about this application. Basically, all the components of your desired school's business school applications are still in there. You'll still have to do all of the essays for each school that they require. And then there's an additional consortium essay. And that is really meant for you to demonstrate your track record of commitment to consortium's mission and to talk about how you plan to carry on that mission when you are in business school. Definitely take it seriously this is your one shot to articulate your passion and commitment to the mission. And this is what determines if you're admitted into the consortium. Now, 
Admissions decisions for schools are strictly up to the admissions committees at the respective schools. Consortium doesn't have any bearing on whether or not you get admit admitted to school. So it's just really important that you just put your best foot forward in your consortium essay, and then put your best foot forward for all of your essays to the schools. What you'll also notice in the common application is a ranking for the fellowship. So if you apply to six schools, then you have to rank your schools in order because it's like this weird like draft thing that happens. I know that NFL draft just happened. And basically what happens is that you rank your schools and the school that you rank number one gets first dibs on offering you the fellowship. So if you rank University of Michigan as number one and you get admitted into the University of Michigan, then that means that the University of Michigan has a first chance to offer you the fellowship. If for some reason you didn't get into the University of Michigan and you got into your second ranked school, then that school has an opportunity to offer you the fellowship. So. That's just a little bit of game theory. I think as of right now, the schools can't see your ranking. <laughs> that was not the case when, when I was applying. So, you know, thanks. Um, <laughs> it worked out anyway, because I got into my number one school. This is one of many organizations that are dedicated to giving support to groups of people. There's Forte for Women, there is a veterans organization, there is an organization for the LGBTQ plus community. Like I, if you're interested in seeing more videos about these organizations, put like a fire emoji in the comments below so I know that you want this content because there are so many great organizations out there. Consortium is just one of them and this channel is not just about the GRE. It's really about achieving hard things. And getting to business school is a hard thing. And I am really excited to expand the content to kind of give the people the information they need to get one step closer to their dreams. So if you're here for it and you like what you hear, why don't you subscribe down there, down there, down there, somewhere. And hey, if you want, click the bell so you can be notified for the next really cool video. Again, Consortium is a phenomenal organization that has certainly changed my life. So if you think that someone you know may be interested in it, please, please share this video, spread the word, because I want everyone who's interested in continuing the mission of increasing representation of underrepresented minorities and just to make a more inclusive workplace and community, I mean, the more the merrier we can use we can use more to join the ranks until next time i'm ashley and i will see you in the next video before i let you go do 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 do, do, do.